Hi everyone, it's Amy from Nifty Stitch on FlossTube and on Instagram. It has been a long time and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I don't really know what happened, life just got in the way. Um, and we're filming in a different location, well, kind of different. It's the loft again, but just from a different angle. Um, the desk's behind me, so if you can see pens, that's why they're not just floating next to me. <laughs> There's a desk. Um, and this wall, hopefully, I can get some pictures and things put on it soon so it's not just colours in my face you have to look at. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, we've got six projects, a couple of new starts, progress on some of the ones that you've seen before and there was a couple of mistakes. So we'll get to that. But first, <laughs> First project is my Moana by Dots and Spots Shop on Etsy and this, since it's just one coloured pattern, this is um, stitched on a 32 count linen in the colour Lagoon and I've put in 325 stitches. Here's what we looked like. Um, I've picked 308, don't quote me on it, I think that's the colour, I should have wrote it down, but it's me and I'm unorganised. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wanted a colour that sort of complemented the fabric, and one that didn't sort of get washed away in it, no pun intended. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really liked it, I liked the colour of the fabric as well as the colour choice um, of the thread, so that was really good. Um, but I started that on the 15th of October and I haven't worked on it since. So I really need to pick it up. So next is my Stitch Silhouette 2. This is by All My Stitches Shop on Etsy. And if you remember, I had to do a thousand stitches for a whip core. I'd already done, let's have a look, all the stats are in my book. If I'm looking down here, they're my books, I guess. So I had to put, I, well, the last time I worked on it, I put in 355 stitches. Now I've put in 655, so my whip go goal is complete. Yay! So there we go. Um, basically, I just filled in all this moon, started working on these colours as well. Um, it's quite therapeutic to just sort of pick a colour and fill it in. Really enjoy it. Um, this one will probably go away now until next year, so enjoy it because it's going, <laughs> going, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Honestly. Next project. I haven't got my picture for it. Oh, hang on. Spoilers. Oh, long way down. I dropped something. Right. Um, I haven't got my picture for this project, but the next one is my Snow White piece. Now, I have put in 2,467 stitches, so we're now at 80%, and I can't believe it. I didn't actually think I was going to get this one finished this year but with the no new starts next year I need to finish this one this year to be able to start the next Princess Peach Princess Peach? Princess Peach <laughs> Why Princess Peach? Princess Peace which is Cinderella so I need to finish this one to then start Cinderella so that I can take Cinderella next year and sort of eke Cinderella out until <laughs> 2024 when I can start Sleeping Beauty so because with these ones I'm not starting the next one until I finish this one but obviously if I finish this say the 1st of January next year I can't start Cinderella until 2024 and I kind of want to have the finish date of Snow White as the start date of Cinderella if that sort of makes sense so they're always on rolling um so 80% we're doing well we've still got the spooks but it's a spooky piece I think it looks a bit spooky, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turning out, I'm really happy with it, um, and it's so nice just to sit on a night and just pick a colour and just sort of work my way down with it, I've really enjoyed it. So 20% away from the finish, yay! I can't wait, I'm so excited, might work on it tomorrow today. Uh, next piece is my snowman. Now, when I actually looked into this, 
I actually found out the fabric. This <laughs> is a 14 count fabric that they're on. Um, and let's see if I can move this so we can actually see. We'll put it there. Of course, in true Amy fashion, I have made my mind is attached with fabric, with fabric, with thread and every single one. So this is what we look like now. Hang on. There. Here's what we look like now. And this is the one I've made if, it, if I'm mistaken. So I decided I was going to finish the sky. I'll move it in. I was going to finish the sky. Then do the snowman's hat, his nose, backstitch it all. Finish this bit up here, backstitch that, finished. I was on a roll. I picked it up and I started working on the sky. I went round the outside of his hat because I got bored of sky and decided, well, if I get to the end of his hat, then I can see the outline of said hat and then I can just fill it in with the colours. But when I got to here, it didn't add up because I've made a mistake here. So I need to take all of this back out to then start again. And I just couldn't look at this after I'd made that mistake. So we need some serious assessing with this because if I can fudge it, I will. <laughs> but I need some help from the expert, AKA my dad. <laughs> because I don't even know where to start with fixing this um, and I really don't want to have to take all of that back out so fingers crossed he can help he will be able to he's like the master of cross stitch <laughs> so let's see what happens with that one um, but next is another new star and I'll put a picture in because um, I haven't got a picture of this one but it is Toy Story, um, or You've Got a Friend in Me, um, by Good Morning Maui. And here is where we're up to. So, this is on an 18 count grey Ada. And I've put exactly 100 stitches in it. <laughs> so this is Woody with his neckerchief and his start of his left arm, right arm. I will get it right. But yeah, just a little dainty start because from like now to December, I'm starting all the things. Every week there'll probably be at least one or two new starts. So there's going to be a lot of, and this is a new start, and this is a new start. So it's it's happening. Um, I literally have a list and I've ordered more, which we'll see in the haul. Yeah, um, the last but not least is the most exciting one to me. Obviously, apart from Snow White, I'm really interested in Snow White. But last but not least is my Christmas pudding recipe by Stitch Rovia. And I don't know what's happened. I really don't know. But one night, I thought I'm going to get it out and stitch on it. And then this happened. <laughs> I couldn't put it away. Um, let's see if I can put this behind so I can fix it there. There you go. So I'll have a close up. This is where we're at. So as you can see, there is an awful lot I've added to it. <laughs> I've done 710 stitches and a ton of back stitching because I didn't have any of this border. All of this is finished up to here now. The three tablespoons of brandy's done. I literally need, um, hang on, as a reference, dried fruit, orange zest, Christmas pudding, done. It's literally gone from not to 100. And I started on Monday this week, and just for reference, it's Friday today. I haven't done any stitching yet. Um, but I started on Monday. So I'll just get a little bit done and then every single night I've picked it up and worked on it every single night and I think that's what happens when you have a week off work 
Um, but yeah, I have started to do some more of the different border colours. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's like a little peachy, pale pinky, reddy sort of colour. Um, yeah, I have really enjoyed it. I feel like each one of these little sections is like a little mini finish in itself. So every night I'll say, oh, well, if I just get the apple piece finished, that's one part of the pattern done. Or like the brandy. I was like, oh, I'll stop when I finish the sugar. Because I was like, oh, I'm starting to get a bit tired. Don't want to make a mistake. And I was like, oh, I'll just fasten on my thread so I don't lose my needle, you know, as I always do. Um, and I started with the B for the brandy and then I ended up finishing the brandy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. My mum's already said, once you finish this one, you can make me one too. So I might have to have a bit of a break, <laughs> but I definitely will make a one. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And there's not much left to go. I think Pattern Keeper says it's like 88% finished, but obviously that's just the stitching alone, not the back stitch. So we're getting there. Really getting there. I'm really happy with it. Um... So yeah, they're all of the projects that I have worked on as of late. Um, now, haul. So, I accidentally bought some things. So that, well, I'll say some things, some patterns. So the first pattern, and I said I wasn't going to do any more big pieces until I finished some. So I bought two more. So this is a Winnie the Pooh map. This is by Velvet Line on Etsy. And I'm obsessed. When we were, well I say when we, when me and Sarah were young, my dad used to draw us Winnie the Pooh maps. And Sarah was obsessed with it. And she was like, oh, please draw us some more. I mean, I know I'm 27, but please draw us another one. And he was like, oh, we'll see, we'll see. And then I was looking for something Winnie the Pooh related and then this came up as a pattern and I had to get it. Now it is massive and it's more like a Muriel on the wall than anything else. But you know, it's, it's going to be nice when it's finished, but it's going to take a really long time. Not as long as it would take for me dad to actually draw the map for us. Because we're old now, so we're not going to get one. So I'll make my own. So that's one pattern. Another pattern that I also bought is um, Singing in the Rain. This is by Not So Modern Millie on Etsy. And Singing in the Rain is one of my favourite films. Um, I sound really old saying that, but like, I just really like it. Um, I don't know what it is about it, probably the singing and the dancing. I'm always into things like that ever since I was young, so... I really like it um and i just i looked on etsy and i was like oh singing in the rain pattern and that was the first one that came up and i was like yes i'm buying it didn't want to start it but bought everything for it haven't i the last one i've had my eye on this for ages and ever since i watched the film i said to andrew i need to stitch something from this film so I just decided on this <laughs> whole house picture for my encanto. Um, the music, the colours, everything about it is just amazing and I love it. Um, so what better way to say how much you enjoy the film than actually stitch a picture of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is from Turn on the Bright on Etsy and I love it. I can't wait to start it. And I'm so glad that I haven't started my not new stuff yet because if I'd seen this later, I'd have cried. <laughs> I'd have broke the rules because I wouldn't have started it. Um, but yeah, so they're the three new patterns that I have bought that I'm also going to be starting this year. I wasn't going to start anything new that was massive apart from one. Um, and you'll see that in future videos. Um, but then I decided just live a little why not buy them all start them all so I don't have it with me because it's still in the post but I've ordered all of the fabric and some of the threads just to get me started on all three projects apart from singing in the rain has all of it all threads and fabric because it's only got like four colors in it um so yeah I've bought all that 
And then last but not least of haul, um, I went on Instagram while I was having a cup of tea in the morning and I saw that Candy Little Fox was um, making Christmas bags. So I bought one. <laughs> I don't need another bag, but I just need this bag. How cute. So it's got little gingerbread houses on the inside, a little gingerbread man zip, and then the back fabric. Look at that. How cute. How could you leave that behind? I certainly can't. <laughs> I just love it. It was so cute. It confused me a little bit at first because it wasn't a picture of the finished bag. It was just like you know when they have like a picture and it's like halved of the both pieces of fabric and I just like both fabrics and I thought either way if this is the inside and that's the outside I don't care I love it the fabric's amazing especially this oh it's just brilliant I love it the little gingerbread men they're so cute um so yeah I bought all that I don't know what I'm actually gonna put in it yet I don't know whether I'm gonna upgrade somebody's project so that well, I would say like Christmas pudding recipe, but that's practically finished, so it's not going to be in this bag for long. But for example, I could upgrade that because they're all just in them little project zippy bags with a colour zip on the top. Um, so I could upgrade a project. I might just put something new in it. I don't think I'm actually starting any Christmas ones. I'll have to look into it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's everything. The last thing, um, I just want to give a shout out to Adventures of Stitching. Um, I basically, when I did, well, when I first started Flosstube, she was one of the first few who subscribed and I kind of enabled it to start Cozy Winter Evening. Um, she's doing the mini version and she's kind of re-enabling me through me enabling her, if that makes sense. So she's started it now. She said she wasn't going to start it for a while, but she started it. Um, and watching her stitch it makes me want to get mine back out to stitch it, so I'll probably be stitching on it soon. <laughs> I just need to try and get these um, present projects out of the way first. And then I can work on what I want. And I keep telling myself that. If I work on Secret Project, get that finished, and my Christmas pudding, get that finished, and Snow White, get that finished. Snow White's not a present, but she's already at 80%. And if I can get that finished soon rather than later, um, it means that I can just finish and, well, I can work on whatever I want to after that. So, and it'll definitely be cozy winter evenings. That was one of them. I really wanted that as my new year, new start, but I decided it a bit too late. So all of the fabric and threads and everything came for it at like the 6th or the 7th of January. And I was desperate to have it as a new year, new start. So I was a little bit sad by it, but I really like it. It's I saw the picture and was just like, yes, I need to stitch that. It's the same with Encanto and all the rest. I <laughs> really like it. Um, uh, this week, while I've been off as well, I have been going through all of the stuff of the loft. And I am this close to filming extra videos with all of like stash and things because I have a folder full of cross stitch patterns but then if I show it now people will enable me to start things do I need any more probably <laughs> um I think at the minute I'm up to like nearly 45 projects that I'm going to take into next year which sounds like a lot and it is but some of them are only like the singing in the rain piece, which is small. There's only really going to be like the Encanto pieces and like the big heaven and earth design pieces and things like that, that aren't going to have like a finish next year. Um, not that I'm going to finish everything, but I'm not allowed to start anything else new. So who knows what's going to happen? I might. I might not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, that is everything from me, short and sweet, and hopefully next time I might have some finishes. I won't hold my breath, because <laughs> I know what I'm like. I'll say this, I'll edit and upload it, and then a couple of weeks, hopefully, will pass, 
and I was barely working on anything or I've worked on something completely different because that's me <laughs> but yeah um, thanks for returning I know it's been a while and I apologise but I am going to try and stick to it and make sure that I do post more regularly <laughs> because I was doing so well and then life happened and everything just went downhill but never mind we'll get there we'll get there in the end but yeah um like comment subscribe all those youtubey things and hopefully i shall see you really soon bye